the Joe Rogan experience. Was that something that it always called to you, being an actor? No, not really. Um, I was going to go into be a doctor or something like that. You know, I was really? always really good in school, and and uh, but uh, my father was a bus driver in the Bronx, and this and and. Uh, he started doing community theater when I when I was in high school. Like he was like forty, just all, one day starts acting in plays. Which, looking back, knowing what it takes, it's very courageous, you know, somebody to do that. And uh, so I always saw cool movies and even saw some theater in, in New York because my parents took me. But then in my last year of high school, I was like, well, what the hell? What do you really want to do? I mean, if you could mm. do anything, I really literally asked myself that question: if you could do anything. What would it be? And I was like, I get, you know, I really didn't want to stay in school for ten years either. Like mm -hmm. studying, I was kind of sick of that. And then come out in debt. Come out in debt, and I that's don't the big one. That's a big one. It flavors the way they live their life. Yeah, they live their life starting out of the gate in their career, hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt. Yeah, and not just doctors, right? Yeah, even even people who don't even go to grad school. Sure, don't go through yeah. that. That's really rough. So you asked yourself that question, and yeah. how did you come up with acting? Yeah, I started. Re I had a, some good teachers in high school who like brought us to the theater, and 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 I was reading a lot of plays in high school in the library in my school, and and just got into it more and more. My last year or two of high school, I wasn't acting. I didn't do any acting then. And then after high school, I went to uh, an, an acting school in New York and took a couple of classes there, and then stayed for a, for a long time actually with the. The couple with a teacher, and met a lot of people that I still work with today. Back then, you know, who were, a couple of who were on The Sopranos. Actually, is live performance is that your love like theater? Um, you know, it is. I mean, I love all of it. I mean, it, it, it's always about the specific project and the material and the people you're with. But doing it live is really special because mm. a you're doing the whole story every night. From beginning to end, right, and mm -hmm. you have the you're on stage for whatever two hours. It's that concentration and that commitment. You know, movies and television, as you know, is broken up into little bits throughout the day, and and um, it's a different kind of concentration. But there is something special about being in front of an audience. It's different every night. The reactions are different every night, and there's a interplay that's very exciting. You know? mm. So. Do you still do it now? Do you go back and forth? I haven't in films? a while. I mean, theater. I mean, I did. Um, I hope to start doing it again soon. You know, um, at one point, my wife and I built a theater, and we were we were producing new plays. Where'd you build it? West Twenty Ninth Street, Manhattan. Oh wow! Around, I think we opened in two thousand three. So when you say built the theater, like what was there before? I was just like a raw space. I think it was a. I think it was a club at one point, and then literally, my wife and my father in law built it. Like wow. it, and it looked like a theater from from like a hundred years ago. It was beautiful. How did you get the craftsmanship to like? What, where'd you get the people to do that kind of work? Um, my wife and my father in law. Were they did pretty, it all themselves. They did a lot. I mean, there were a couple of people that they contract certain things out for, but a lot. He was he passed away, but he was a master carpenter. He was just oh. brilliant. And my wife's really good. How many seats building. was it? Seventy five seats. It was wow. very intimate. Wow, that's and awesome. And we did only new plays that had never been done, and uh, and we also had classes there. Acting classes. What year was this? Uh, between 2003 and like 2010. So this is a real labor of love. This is yeah, not, it's not like you it can make a lot of money of off of 75. No, we seats. didn't make money. No, it yeah. cost. It actually wound up costing. Mean, that's why we went out of business after the economy collapsed. We lost a lot of our funding. You mm -hmm. know, we lost all the corporate funding pretty much. We had a few private, you know, donors who really loved what we were doing. And I mean, I built the theater basically. I did a a, a movie. Not, uh, kind of a not so good movie for uh, Harvey Weinstein, actually. Oh wow! And that money went and built the theater. Wow! Yeah. yeah, that had to be a really interesting thing. Like the moment you're on stage that on this theater that you built. Yeah. And you're you're performing these plays. I mean, that that had to be a dream realized. That had to be a pretty special moment. Yeah, I didn't act that much there. I did more directing. I mean, we produced all the plays. I did. I directed a bunch of them. I think I I only acted in one of them. But, oh, really? Um, but it was kind of the inmates running the asylum, really, because it was it wasn't really a company, but it was a company by default because there were a lot of people that uh, go to people that I you know worked with. But it was, yeah, it was really uh, rewarding. My wife built all the sets for all the shows as well as built the place itself. So intimate. 
75 seats. Really intimate. Yeah, really intimate. That's a wild decision to make, to, to build your yeah. own theater. It was her idea. I, I wouldn't have done it, probably. Because wow. I had done, I had worked in theater. I started producing theater in my early 20s, you know, with a company. And, and um, I knew what it, you know, it's hard. It's, it's not a good business model. Right. <laughs> um, but if, it, if you have the kind of passion, and we, we just found a way to do it. She was like, no, we'll build it. I was like, um, but it was really fun while it lasted. Mm. You know? 